Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told with your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and please be sure to get an amazing life on every single day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys for all the love, the donations, and everything that you give to my channel, and all the love that you show my channel. I appreciate you so much. Um, so we are going to go ahead. Three of Wands. So you're planning something, Pisces. You're planning for the long term, working hard towards a situation. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. This could be working towards um, gaining some sort of stability for your family, making sure that your family is stable. Then we have the Seven of of um, the Seven of Cups. So you could have a lot of options. You could have been sort of hesitant on choosing an option um career wise money wise relationship wise or something like that but i get that you're working hard towards something so you can you're you're because you want to see abundance come in from your past decisions from an investment or something um this could be retirement it, it could also be inheritance then we have the four of 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 sports so you could be in that energy where you're just taking a break from everything and sort of analyzing the decisions that you made, trying to see if you made the right decision or what is the right decision for you pertaining to your money that's going to be, be the better outcome for your family. Then we have the world card, Pisces. So you are definitely in that energy where you're making things happen and, and, and you're being, you're enlightened about something. You're tapping into your natural gifts. With the six of sports, you're leaving a lot of things behind. You're moving, you're happy to see happy. I mean, um, you're leaving things behind because you're happy to see hard times come to an end. I get that now you have more options available to you it's like whatever you want whatever you request whatever you desire is being given to you it's like something that you've worked hard towards is actually working out in your favor now i get that you're taking a break to sort of reflect upon all of this um the five of swords you've even reflected upon people thought back to people you're taking a break away from people who had questionable motives or who lacked integrity. This could have been somebody in your own family, a uh, air sign um, or a um, earth sign or something, somebody who you felt like you couldn't sort of trust. You needed to take a step back from and sort of collect yourself. Um, put some distance in between. This could be even somebody you haven't spoken with in a while. Somebody you haven't spoken with in a while. Somebody you haven't... Um, I get that it, it, it may be inheritance related. Somebody who felt like they got away with doing something to you pertaining to money. Okay. Then we have the page of swords. And so it's like you're being more logical now um, when it comes to making long term plans. You're being logical about seeing your dreams come in. You're being logical about making sure you accomplish certain things in your life. I get that you're proud of some of the things that you've put in, like the work that you put in, the hard work that you put in towards something. You're proud of yourself, but now you're smarter. You're moving wiser because you feel like, you know what? At this point, I'm not going to allow my emotions to take over a situation. I get that you have, you see how in this world card, she literally has, she has two wands and both hands. She can make whatever happen in her life. Like she literally has whatever it, whatever she need to make magical things happen in her life. And that's right up under this three of wands. I get it came from you being smarter, Pisces, you being more logical, um, removing emotion from a situation. I get that you're not explaining yourself. People could think that you are emotional. These could be the people who came in with ill intent. Um, they may feel like you do not want to deal with them. You could have found out something happened with an inheritance. 
you sort of was left out of something, secluded, separated. Um, distance was put between you and some sort of financial um, money or something pertaining to your family because you were dealing with um, people you could not trust in your own family. But I get that, Pisces, moving forward, you're focused on long-term plans. You're focused on abundance. You feel more powerful in something, some sort of decision you made. And, it, and you feel more powerful because you're being more logical. You're thinking things through. You're paying attention to things in black and white. Um, you're not backing down from challenges in your life. You're trusting your instincts, your intuition about things or people. I get that you're happy to see hard times could come to an end it's like long overdue something you've been going through for a while pisces it's long overdue you even could be putting an end to addictions this could be you being addicted to just helping people you shouldn't help or feeling sorry for people you shouldn't feel sorry for then we have the Six of Pentacles, Pisces. Beautiful, like so look. Mm, 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 mm. I love this reading. Go ahead, Pisces, go ahead. 2022, bring it to me, bring it to me. Bow. <laughs> Pisces, something about you letting an ending go. Something, you let, when I say letting an ending go. So it's like the fact that you had you went through something like with with people who were sort of like, OK, they lacked integrity. Right. There was a lot going on. It's like the fact that you let that go and focused on something that had to do. You were more logical. You got burned in a situation. So it made you get on your P's and your Q's. You sort of was like, OK, you know what? It is what it is. I, I, I. You sort of like, you know, washed your hands of a situation. That's what I get. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, Pisces. Mm. Um, or you sort of you like you washed your hands of a situation. You got tired of going through something. This could even have been somebody that wanted in your own family who sort of wanted to silence you. Because do you know, I'm not trying to be funny. I rarely cough. It's like when I do certain readings, all of a sudden I start choking on my own. Word. I'm like, what is that? It's really weird. And, only ha and that's why I never edited it that out. Because I feel like it's meant to be a part of the reading. When I say I never cough, of course, coughing is a human, a natural human nature like it's a part of you cleaning out your lungs, you know, that's, it's natural babies cough, whatever, whatever. Um, and you cough until the, until you take your last breath right throughout life. Right. But I just noticed in certain readings, I get sort of choked up. Like I got a, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I always got a cough, but it's only in certain readings. So I even get the energy that somebody is watching my reading. This could be a cross watcher or another Pisces who've done this to someone. Or this, <laughs> uh -huh. this could be a cross watcher who do not want me to continue to speak on certain things. Like they don't like when I speak on, on certain things pertaining to Pisces <clears throat> or what they've done to Pisces or something like that or Pisces what you've done to someone okay but anyway we will go ahead and move on because I get Pisces you were dealing with someone who tried to either mess with your inheritance your retirement so this could be job related or family related retirement could be somebody who was in the HR department or in the company <clears throat> trying to mess with your money, knowing that 
you worked for a company or you worked, you know, you worked for them for numerous years, could have been 10 years or longer, 21 years, something like that. And they don't want you to get you like they owe you some sort of like the your, your retirement fund or something, something. This could also be family, somebody who retired. Joe, I don't know who Joe is, but OK. Um, somebody who retired. who left you something, Pisces. And it was sort of like somebody who had these kind of motives, got a hold of it or held it from you or moved it or did something or spent it. They had like on this person's deathbed, they could have said, make sure all of my children receive something. Make sure all these particular people receive something. I get that somebody chose to leave you out of it. That's where this four of swords come in. It's sort of like they put space in between you and the money. Or they chose to sort of cut you out of it. They could have taken a vacation with your portion of the money or something. Anyway, Pisces, let's go ahead and move on because we ain't going to even focus on that past kind of nonsense. Uh, we going to boot and scoot them type of people. For those who don't know what boot and scoot mean, <laughs> you boot them out your life. They scoot down the road. You scoot them on out, you know, <clears throat> a lot of times they buckle you and they scoot back like a dog rubbing his, his ass across a carpet. I'm trying to tell you what, I, what I've seen with my own eyes. But anyway, so we boot and scoot them kind of people. We go ahead and let them do their thing because um, karma takes care of that kind of stuff. And so I get Pisces with this world card and this three of, of wands. Pisces, you have a lot of prosperity in, in like success in your future, but I get that or in your present, you could be doing very well right now in spite of what has happened to you. So maybe you were heard about this, you know, somebody messing with your retirement money, somebody messing with inheritance money or something like that sort of like putting space between you like in that inheritance money or space between you and some sort of retirement money. But I get that you sort of got over. You were mentally exhausted by that situation, but I get that you sort of got over it and you sort of moved forward because you were putting in your own hard work and your own situation to bring abundance in your own life, right? And so some sort of success came from that because you removed emotion from it and you're thinking more logically. They had all this emotion caught up in it. That's what made them be messy like that. But I get you removed emotion from something. You could even know about it and have like a legitimate lawsuit and choose not to even sue these people because you're like, you know what? Y'all kept my inheritance from me or you y'all cut me out of something. I don't give a crap. Because you know what? I know how to go out here and get money. These are the type of individuals who let money rule their life. They they actually, these are the type of people who will recite a Bible verse and say, oh, money is the root of all evil. But they don't realize it's the love of money that's the root of all evil. And the fact that they loved money more than they loved you, their own family, is the reason why they're suffering and, and I get that you were able to go ahead and move forward past this, even though they kept some sort of retirement or inheritance from you because you started thinking logically, right? Um, I get Pisces, you have more options at your fingertips right now, but I get that you, it's hard for you to make a decision on something. It's hot, like you're you're trying to decide with the six of, of swords. Do you want to leave something behind? Let it go. Like turn your back on it. Um, see that it, it's like you're seeing the ending of these challenging times in your life. You're looking forward to better times. And it had and, and you even have more options, but you are going to have to make some sort of choice. You, you, it's like you need to make a choice. It's, I'm, I'm gonna be, 
Pisces, the universe is waiting on you. Something about the universe is waiting for you to make a choice. I get that it's time for you to cut certain people out permanently who cut you out. It's not a revengeful thing. It's just that they, their energy has remained heavy. See how he's in this boat, sort of like, you know, he's pushing the boat. I mean, he's he he has the paddle in his hand. He's moving them on to another in another direction. They're leaving something behind and going towards something else, right? I get that you can't have, you haven't decided if you want these people to be in a boat with you. They can't. They can't be in the boat with you Pisces it's time for you and and it's another person in the boat with her I don't know who this other person is with her but it looks like her child or something something about you leaving other people behind and you just taking your your load has been like your it things aren't as heavy it's time to like I just said like these people carry heavy energy because their their disdain for you, their dislike for you caused them to be this way towards you and leave you out of some sort of retirement or inher mess with your entire your retirement money or your inheritance or something like that. They didn't want to see you in a peaceful contentment place in life. But something about you deciding to cut them out, not like I said. It's not like a revengeful type thing. It's more because they these are the type of people that will poke holes in your boat, Pisces, to keep you stuck with them. They will poke holes in your boat. They already cut you out of something. They already tried to keep things from you and cause, you know, like they didn't want to see peace and contentment in your life. You know what I'm saying? So these are people that will poke holes in your own in your boat to make it sink, to keep you stuck there where you can't move on. So it's like the universe is literally waiting for you. Like with this seven of cups, it's like the universe is waiting for you to go. And you have all these other options, but you're not making a choice right now. You're procrastinating on cutting these people out. And I get you're procrastinating because it's your own family or someone you viewed as family doesn't necessarily have to be blood relatives, but it's somebody who, even if you've worked for them for 21 years, 20 years, um, 10 years or something like that, I get that you grew, you feel some sort of connection to them where it's hard for you to move on. But it's time to move on because these people, like I said, they keep po poking bo like holes in your own. So they, they keep trying to keep you stuck or stagnant where you can't move on. Pisces, as soon as you move on, look at what look at the card that came out. The Six of Pentacles. Pisces, oh my goodness. You've, I even get that you've done good for people who have done you like this family or either a supervisor, co-worker, somebody, you've even treated them well. And in return, they've tried to put distance between you and finances because they have questionable motives. They lack integrity. You have some sort of unexpected flow of abundance coming into you, Pisces, in 2022. Just absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love it. You know I like it a lot because you know what, Pisces? I don't like the fact that you, I don't, you know, I don't want to carry that energy over into 2022 with these kind of people. I don't like, I don't want, because we've had too many readings about people who have done you wrong and I'm tired. I'm 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 not even going to try to be funny. Like this is tarot, but I'm not going to lie. Like I really do get tired of seeing these kind of people show up in you all's reading. Like I'm just like I know how it is in my personal life. I don't even I don't even explain myself to people at this point in my life. <laughs> if I don't, I don't care if they get offended or not. 
I'm just trying to get Pisces to that point. Because I guess especially with this Venus and Pisces, the pros to that is you going after your dreams, you seeing your value, you assembling teams, you doing beautiful things for yourself. But the cons to that is you putting yourself on the back burner to, to assist people like this who are going to come back because they didn't burn through the money. The money, the same money they kept from you. They didn't burn through it. So now here they come. Oh, hey, where that small violin? I got, you know what? I got to give me the smallest violin in the world is playing. Because that's where they at, Pisces. They got a sob story for you about all the help they need now. Even though they put distance between, they could have even taken a vacation with the money they should have given to you. But now that their money is on hold or damaged or something is going on, they could have got demoted in their company, the same person who actually prevented you from getting a promotion or preventing you from getting your full retirement or something. Pisces, I get that you, these kind of people are circling. Like I just say, like that doll, when they scoot their butt against that rug, they make that U-turn. Yeah, this is these are the kind of people who you got to worry about making butt, bucking at you. They got, you know, I ain't even gonna go there. Okay, so... So um, these are people who are bucking, they making a U-turn Pisces so they can come back into your life. What are you going to do, Pisces? Because you got this sitting here waiting for you. Prosperity, happiness, joy. You know what I mean? For all the good you've done. You have a great deal of options at your fingertips, Pisces, but I really do get you're procrastinating and overanalyzing whether you should leave people like this alone. If they had the opportunity, they would do they would leave you high and dry cuz I get that they've already done that. When they had the opportunity, Pisces, it's like you are just still sitting there like, "Um, should I leave them alone? Should I not? Should I like Pisces?" I want to shake you right now and be like, oh, wake up. Like, you know, because that's the energy I'm getting. Like some of you all are just sitting there scratching your head, wondering whether these are the kind of people you should continue to deal with when you should not. I got, I Pisces, the, what I feel like you're getting blessings, blessings, blessings. You have options. You're putting things to an end. You're turning your back on situations and you even have help. See how they're in this boat and somebody else is steering the boat, like paddling for them. You even have help. That's what I'm saying. Like if it's not help from a physical being, it's like help from the universe because this is where you supposed to be. This is what's waiting for you, right? Pisces, like just freaking like you got the world card. And you got the six of, and you have the six of pentacles right there, Pisces. Just beautiful, right? So you got all of these blessings just waiting for you um, that you totally deserve because with this three of wands, you've put in so much hard work and you're waiting to see your ships come in, right? And I get that you, with this page of sports, you've been more logical. You've been more logical and it made you make a better decision. So, why is it so hard to cut people like this out your life, Pisces? Why have you why do you think that you're not good enough or worthy enough? Just because these people may be family or co-workers you've worked with for a very long time, or someone who you viewed as family, even someone you could have a child by. Why is it so hard for you to cut these kind of people off and make that decision? Like make with the seven of cups, like stop procrastinating and make a choice. Choose you, choose you, Pisces. That's what I'm going to label this video, even though it's sort of in depth. Um, and the, and the title is like, 
<laughs> just very like, you know, but choose you, Pisces. Make a choice and choose you because you deserve it. Love you. Sending you nothing but positive energy. Love you guys. Make this 2022. Oh, and I also wanted to say this, like, also, like, in 2022, and this is only, please start telling people no. Something about, I, I get this energy, something about people like this coming back around needing help. Start telling people no. It's something about you needing to tell people no in this year, 2022, that's going to bring you a lot of success because they they really don't have your best interest at heart and they're in it to take whatever you accumulate. So you may not even accumulate a lot, but whatever little bit that you do accumulate, they want to take it. So of course, it's time to start telling people no, okay? Love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate you so much for coming to my channel. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Um, and that's it. I will talk with you soon.